All right, you guys, it is early here in the morning, uh, about 4 a.m. And uh, so I'm gonna quickly do this video. Um, people are asking me about my morning ritual. So I do one um, lime, and I do some apple cider vinegar. I do, I just kind of eyeball it like, I don't know, three, three tablespoons or so. And then I do some um, pink Himalayan sea salt. So, let me get a knife here. And slice this open. And I'm going to squeeze this out. Now I do have a grind, I do have a, um, it's like a juicer thing, you know, you can put it, you can like put the lime in the thing and it kind of twists and it gets all the juice out. Anyways, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's something like, it's not a juicer, but you know what I mean? Anyways, let's do it this way, it's faster. Well, it's not faster, it's just, I don't know. Harder, but I just can't be bothered. If I'm not making sense because I just woke up, and I pull all the uh, I pull all of the pulp out. Like, I like to make sure I get all the juice out of here, so. Just kind of grind on the side of the cup here. All right, so you get it. You can see that it's all the stuff's out of there. All right. Okay, and then. I put, uh, this is a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. And then this has got mother in it. And this, you can get this at Costco. I got it yesterday. So I'm just gonna shake this up. And like I said, that in there and I'm gonna put some water in here I'm gonna get it from my uh, put a, it's like a water filter thingy here and there you go that is it just like that That's it. Not bad. I get used to it. When you first have it, you probably hate it, but I don't mind it. So that's what I do every morning, my morning ritual. So I have that. So this is half a liter. I will do the other half here. So I'll just gulp this down and then I'll have the, uh, the other half right away. That's it. And you will notice like with the salt and everything, you'll feel, you should feel much better hydrated. But I do this for adrenal support, meaning the salt for the adrenal support. And then the, the lime is mainly for the liver. And then um, the apple cider vinegar, I do for a whole host of reasons, but um, there, is, there is no evidence of anything other than helping with like glucose levels and uh, what else? And I think there's evidence of lowering your bad cholesterol, which I don't even really know if it's really bad cholesterol. Um, but that's not the reason I do it. 
The reason I do it is because the reason I do it is because it's supposed to have fat burning properties, which I don't really know if I believe. But I think I told you guys once in a video before that ever since I've been having apple cider vinegar, my visceral fat is lower than ever, which is kind of interesting. Anyways, there you go. I'll do the other one. You know what it looks like. It's the same thing. So I won't show you again. All right, I gotta run and do some scans here soon. Guys, what is up? It is day 52 of the Fit and 10 Challenge. And uh, that was my little concoction that I do in the morning. Um, I've had a few requests for that. Um, so I just do that every morning. I've done it every, every single morning for at least the past, I would say 15 or 16 months. I think about 16 months ago. So, and uh, like I said, um, you know, the salt's very good for the adrenal system. Um, the lime is very good for the liver, for detoxifying the liver. And then the apple cider vinegar, vinegar's got a whole host of uh, health benefits, which I'll go through in the, in the near future, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna make this video too, too long today because you just had five minutes of watching me make that concoction. So let's get right into it. There's a question here and somebody's asking, uh, last year, so somebody done the challenge before, um, I allowed things like kale and broccoli and cauliflower and cabbage and bok choy, etc., to not count, uh, to not count, you know, towards your calories. And, um, and now it does count. So why did I change my mind? Well, because, you know, it, it's, if you eat enough of it, it's going to add up. I mean, it all, it will all add up. Um, and you know, especially now that I'm going to suggest to you guys for your snacking, cause you guys want to snack, you guys want to add in more food. Um, you know, you're going to make some big salads. Um, it's still calories at the end of the day. Okay. It's still calories and it will make a difference. And if you eat enough of it, it's going to, it's going to change things. So that's why I changed my mind. If you have a little bit of it, then I would say, yeah, yeah, don't, don't worry about it. But yeah. Hey, we change our minds, right? That's why. Okay. So uh, it's still food and it still counts. Um, even though it's, it's high in fiber, most of the stuff, uh, we, it's, it's, it counts going forward. Okay. With, with the rule about uh, fiber, of course. Okay, we're sticking with that same rule that I that I have. All right, um, and one more question here. You're looking for snacks. This person's looking for snacks and also shake ideas. Okay, I'll talk about shake ideas t tomorrow, perhaps or very soon. Um, you know, popcorn is a very is a, is a great way to go. Okay, popcorn with like salt, like load it with salt. I don't care, and then you know put a little bit of truffle oil or butter on there, or even coconut oil, just a little bit, and that will get you a long way. Okay, but of, of course you have to measure out your, your popcorn, but you can get like a huge bowl of popcorn and it probably only be like 200 calories or something, right? And it's going to be primarily carbs. Um, and uh, what's something else? Um, well, like I was just going to mention it, large salads. Okay, large salads, fill up a bowl full, full of salad, you know, maybe add in just a few little nuts so not to add in too much um, fats, but that will give you some substance and even add some protein in there and then make a good locale salad dressing or not necessarily locale salad, salad dressing. You can have a regular salad dressing, but you just got to count the fat, right? But you can make a locale, okay? Like a vinaigrette of, of some sorts. All right, message of the day. This is you versus you, focus on yourself. You'll always see someone better than you are. It's just the way it is. Um, and, and the reason I bring this up actually today is because somebody was asking me on the little sheet when they, did, when they got their scan, should I be in this area here for body fat percentage? There is no you should be. There is none. That doesn't exist. I don't care what anybody says. There is none, okay? You have to weigh out things like how do you feel? How does it affect your lifestyle? Um, are you happy with your physical appearance? Um, you know, how are your factors in your life like sleep and stress and all these things? your family, people around you, you have to factor all these things in, okay? So there is no ideal. There is no ideal, okay? There is no ideal, all right? So this is you versus you. Focus on yourself 
and uh, you'll always see someone better than you, or you'll see some, you'll, you might see a classification that says you should be this cer certain classification. It's just some, listen, a bunch of people made that up, okay? Or maybe one person, I don't know. Or it's just, it's, you know, it doesn't mean anything. It really doesn't really mean anything, okay? All right, so just focus on yourself. It's you versus you. Let's focus on improvement. All right, we'll talk to you guys all soon. Have a wonderful day. See you guys.